You know how the expression goes, you gotta spend money to make money. But how much money are we talking here to get rolling in DeFi? Are there alternatives out there to soften that financial hit? You know, gas fees? Well, yes, there are networks where you don't have to spend quite as much, and they could spare you a pretty penny. Enter Layer 2. Layer 2 protocols are those that are built on top of or beside mainnets. These are built to offload some of the transaction volume from the mainnet onto more efficient chains in an effort to increase scalability. See ya! So, Ethereum is Layer 1, and networks like Polygon are Layer 2s. And in this episode, we're going to migrate from Ethereum mainnet to the most popular Layer 2 today, Polygon, which pushes transactions onto a side chain that's faster cheaper and totally DeFi ready. Are we finally gonna come on the budget? <laughs> yeah. This is School of Block. As we covered in Unlucky Episode 13, DeFi is the shorthand for decentralized finance, and it can offer some sizable advantages over traditional finance, or as the cool kids like me call it, TradFi. If we really need to shorthand everything, which we do, we do, we do, we've got no time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So running on smart contracts that provide trustless, guaranteed, efficient financial transactions, DeFi can offer better returns and rates than any banker, pawn shop owner, or even back alley bookie can, all of which we covered in more depth, oh yeah, in episode 14. And maybe the coolest thing, possibly the coolest thing ever, is the composability, which means developers can build on top of each other's applications again and again, making a kind of money Lego tower of good old D apps that will put your five year old nephew to shame. Isn't that right? 28. Can't use a five year old. The rules won't let us. Yeah, we'll work on that. Oh, but moving from Lego to Lego can be expensive. Yeah, yeah that's not the minute. Not but a month or so ago, the Ethereum network was bumping up against its scaling capacity. Blame the degenerates for that, creating long wait times for transactions and also pushing the transaction. Oh, come on! Transaction fees into a couple of hundred dollar range. And this has happened before. Crypto Kitties became so popular after it launched in 2017. The, the Ethereum network became completely clogged up. And so, developers have been working on layer two protocols to help solve the problem so that users, just regular old, hang on. Yeah. Just regular old everyday users like you and me can utilize these networks without going broke. But you know what? It's actually working. Oi. Oi. Paid a lot for this gas. So let's begin at the foundations. Gas. Hang on. And that is normally calculated in Ether. You're going to need some of that, always. Every action you take on Ethereum will require some amount of gas fee. Think of it like carrying water in the desert. No, my voice is still weird. Now, because the vast majority of today's DeFi is built on top of Ethereum, and you can't use Ethereum without it, Ether is a must-have. You can purchase ETH from an exchange or other centralized form of provider. Or you can also purchase ETH directly through MetaMask using wire. But what exactly is this foxy number? So we start with MetaMask and this crazy little fox is your gateway, your passport. It's your access point to the world of Web3. Isn't it beautiful? So when you go onto the MetaMask website, metamask.io, it will tell you this is a crypto wallet and gateway to blockchain apps. And then if you click on download here, it will take you to a page where you can install MetaMask for your browser. Now, you might already already have MetaMask installed, but what it will do is it will install as a little uh, browser extension in Chrome. It also works in Brave. And if I now click on this little fox, this is going to give me an overview of what's in my Ethereum wallet. It's gonna tell me how much I have. It'll allow me to buy, send, and swap. And it'll also tell me what assets I have in that wallet. So um, ERC20 tokens like wrapped BTC, or another token like, for instance, Brave Attention token, those will show up there in the assets tab. So MetaMask has evolved quite a lot in recent years, and it has more and more features, including swaps, but it also has the ability to buy ETH 
directly from the wallet. So <clears throat> in the old days, you used to have to go to Coinbase or another exchange, go through some KYC processes, and then finally you'd be allowed to buy some ETH. Now we can do it directly in MetaMask. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is go to buy. And here you have two options. You can either deposit Ether directly from another account, or you can use the wire service to buy with a debit card, which means you can on-ramp directly into the crypto sphere via something that you already use. Now you may feel a little bit kind of suspicious about this, but wire is a pretty reputable service. Only one caveat though, it's only available in the US for now. So now we're gonna jump ahead and imagine that we already have some ETH in our wallet. So if I click on here now, what shows up in my Ethereum account is 0.1298 ETH, around $250. Now for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm gonna be playing around with about $200 because that is, it's a decent amount to get started with. Now, I was doing a demo yesterday of some DeFi activities using DeFi Saver and within two minutes, we'd racked up $250 in transaction fees working with Ava and Compound. We want to avoid that. That is why we're moving all of this information, this value onto Polygon, because we want to avoid those fees. But how do we get there? So what we want to do here is go and play where the gas fees are in our favor, which means heading to layer two, or L2 for short. Now look, there's no need to be scared here. All we're doing is shifting value from one chain to another. It's kind of like traveling in Europe with a British passport. Ah, damn it. <clears throat> it's like traveling in Europe with a European passport. Free passage, but you still have to cross borders. F***ing Brexit. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to look at is right up here at the top of MetaMask. So what MetaMask is doing is it's saying, here is your wallet, here is a chain that I'm connected to, and in most cases that's Ethereum, but it isn't always Ethereum, and here's the information I'm getting back when I look at your wallet address and, to, and it tells me what's in your wallet. So up here we can, we can change what network we're looking at. So there's some test nets. You probably won't want to worry about those. We have Coven, Rinkby, Gurley. There's an Arbitrum test net. And here we'll see the Matic network. If you've just installed MetaMask, you won't see that. But we need to make sure that you can because unless your wallet can see the Matic network, we won't be able to use Polygon. So in order to make that happen, it's actually quite simple. So there are two things we're gonna to need to be aware of. The first one is wallet.matic.network. This is how we're going to access the Polygon bridge. Second thing we're gonna to need to look at is QuickSwap. QuickSwap is the native DEX that is built on Polygon. If you've heard of Uniswap, QuickSwap is the version of that that exists on Polygon. And it's how we're gonna uh, work through swapping assets that we need, uh, that we have to the ones that we need. What QuickSwap has is this little button up here which says switch to Matic. If we click on that, it will allow us to switch to the network. Now, I already have the Matic network set up in MetaMask, and normally what you would have to do is you would have to fill in an RPC uh, data form, and that would allow you to access the network, plugging in you know, the same that you would with an email address or you know, setting up a, uh, an email client. This is effectively the same kind of thing, but Ma the QuickSwap site makes it very, very easy. So it will allow you to simply add that network straight away and it'll then start working in uh, MetaMask. So I can click on switch network. And now I've switched over to the Matic network. My MetaMask will look at my wallet, but it will look at the Matic variation of that wallet. Uh, so that's how we can now connect to Polygon. So if I now go back to the Polygon web wallet, I can log in using MetaMask. So that's what we're gonna do now. A little window will pop up. We have to sign the transaction. Don't worry, nothing sinister going on here. It's just saying, are you okay with Polygon accessing your wallet? And when we say access, we mean literally it can just read it. It can't go in there and do anything. It doesn't have the permission to do that. So we're gonna sign that. And it will open up the bridge. So this bridge is really pretty straightforward. What we want to do is we want to shift value from ETH. So we're going to type in ETH. And then we want to switch it over to Polygon. And I'm going to select 0.1 ETH. It's $193 today. 
and we're going to use the POS bridge and then we're going to click transfer. Then we click continue and it will tell us about seven to eight minutes. Uh, the cost of that deposit is going to be $2.91. Continue, continue. So what I need to do now is I need to switch back to the Ethereum network in order to continue doing this. Now I can continue and there we go. Finally sign this, so the, the total is 196, that's including the amount I want to send, plus the gas fee. Doesn't look great behind me. Then we confirm. And that is it. Now, when you do things on Ethereum, it can be quite slow. Today, I have no, no idea how long it's going to take. But in the meantime, let's find out a little bit more about what exactly is going on here. So this swap is happening via Polygon's blockchain bridge, which allows you to swap between mainnet there you go, the mainnet token goes in, and sidechain tokens with relative ease. Although getting tokens onto a sidechain typically takes less time than getting them back onto the mainnet. And there are all sorts of different reasons for that. <clears throat> but if you think of this like an airlock, one token goes in, it gets locked up there, and then another one gets issued on the other side to an equal amount. Now, before you swap tokens, you'll get another pop-up that tells you how much time it will take to bring tokens back to Ethereum mainnet. And right now, that is about three hours. So what exactly happened there? Well, let's go and look in our wallet and we can look at Etherscan and see exactly what did happen. So what we're gonna do, click on MetaMask, you've got assets and you've got activity, we're gonna to go to activity and then we can look at the transaction here. And then if you go up here to this little arrow, you can look at the transaction itself on Etherscan. So this will give you the information that you need and it's always fun to go and do this, but if we look at the two column uh, two row here, we can see that we transferred 0.1 Ether to the Matic bridge, which then spat out Ether on the other side. So that's the interaction that happened here. And it was successful, it was confirmed within 30 seconds. And now what we'll do is we'll go to the Polygon web wallet, which is reading my MetaMask. And at the moment, the MetaMask is connected to the Ethereum mainnet, but it can still read what's there. And it is telling me that I was successful and I do indeed have 0.1 ETH in the wallet. Although it's not actually ETH, it's wrapped ETH. It's the POS proof of stake version of wrapped ETH on Polygon. Don't worry about it. All you need to know is your ETH that was on Ethereum is now on Polygon, same amount, 0.1, around about $195. It was $193 when we started this tutorial. Hmm, volatility, yeah? Huh? This is one of the blue chip lending protocols. This is Ava. Ava is Finnish for ghost. So you might see ghost kind of labels and icons. That's where it comes from. I have no idea why they called it Ava. They just did. So if we want to enter the Ava liquidity protocol, we click enter app. And this is kind of a more advanced version of what we want to do here than perhaps you're used to. So we are going to click on the Polygon Ava market here. So that connects us to the Polygon side. Make sure we're connected to the right one. Make sure we're connected to the right side of, yep, yeah, that's all looking correct. So <clears throat> what we might wanna do now is look at some of these pools, some of these markets here. There's a dashboard, we can deposit. So what we're really looking for here is the most favorable return on the money that we're gonna put in. We're looking at 2.83%. So that will be the one I'd probably be most interested in at this point. Um, I need to make sure I'm connected to the Polygon network. Yeah, problem is I don't have any Matic tokens. So how am I gonna get hold of those? Well, remember we talked about that DEX before. We're gonna go to QuickSwap. And if you don't know what DEX is, DEX is a decentralized exchange. So what QuickSwap's gonna allow us to do is to swap the ETH that we sent over for Matic. I already have some Matic tokens, but for the sake of this, I'm gonna do that swap. So how we would do this is, up here, select ETH, and then down here, select the token that we want to get, which is Matic. So now we can select how much ETH we want to swap over. Now, it's always a good idea to keep some ETH. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna swap 0.05 ETH for Matic, and then we can click swap. So we'll go ahead and do that. I will confirm the swap. Then I will confirm it here. And you can see that the gas fee is 0.000027, uh, which is 
pennies, really. We confirm that. And it should confirm pretty quickly because this is polygon. And success. So we've now swapped 0.05 ETH for 83.6 Matic. So I now have a balance of near enough 100 Matic. So I'm not going to go back to Ava. I'm just going to click out and enter the app again. So what we're going to do now is we're going to stake the Matic that we have into the Matic pool on Ava. So I'm now going to select Matic. So we'll bring up this dashboard here, which will tell us um, what the APYs are looking like and where they've gone and what we can do. And for the purposes of this, it's very, very simple. All we need to do is deposit the Matic. So over here on your information, you'll see a little uh, black box which says deposit. We're going to click on that. And it's going to ask us how much Matic we want to deposit. I'm going to do 90. So 90 Matic will be deposited into Ava. Click continue. Deposit. Confirm that. Then we have to wait for the transaction to go through. It shouldn't take too long. And that's it. We're done. So if we click on the dashboard again, we can see that we have a uh, deposit of around $104 worth of Matic. And that's going to earn us 0.7% uh, basic interest. And then we also get rewards in the W Matic token, which is a wrapped Matic token. And altogether, that will give us uh, a fairly decent return. It's not huge, but obviously, you know, what you want is slow, gradual gains over time when you're doing things like this. So that's it. It seems complicated, but once you get used to the idea of interacting with your MetaMask wallet, signing transactions, and the, f the ease with which you can swap assets from one thing to another using things like QuickSwap, um, it slowly starts to become this habit and it's less scary than you think. And everything is composable, so they all work together. And you don't have to log in except using your MetaMask wallet, which means it's kind of this go anywhere passport and an access point for everything you want to do in DeFi. So now that we've stayed, we can just sit back and watch our crypto bags bulge. And once you get a good handle on staking to one protocol, there's also so much more you can do within the DeFi ecosystem. And we've covered a ton of protocols and projects on the Defiance YouTube channel, so make sure to check those out as you level up. So put on your boots, get your digital shovel and spade, and start yield farming. But make sure you're in a layer two plot so you can save money while you earn money. You've been watching School of Block presented by Ledger and the Defiant Demystifying Decentralization one block at a time. Don't forget to subscribe, drop us a like as it helps the YouTube algorithm and hang on. Oh, I'm out of gas. Quick, ping that notification bell to get a heads up early on the next episode. And as always, here's to your financial freedom. Ooh.